Hi Kaza, this is Jan. My question is, what happens when a property does not appraise at your contract price? Jan, what's up buddy? Hey, thanks so much for the call. I appreciate it. Um, uh, the question I should say. So what happens when your property doesn't appraise at your contract price? Uh, good question. So really there's, there's three things that happen, right? Um, so I'm going to assume that you're the listing age, uh, the, the the lister at this point. That this is your house that you're selling, and if the buyer's uh, appraisal comes back lower, the buyer has the option to a walk away from the property, right? B ask you to reduce the price to the appraised price that it came in at. Uh, or there's a you know a C factor where you guys negotiate some solution um, in the middle, right? But typically at this point the buyer has a lot of the leverage, right? Uh, but before you even before you even look at any of those options, you you know you would want to get clarity on is the appraisal an accurate appraisal or not, right? And appraisers are are pretty decent, but they do make mistakes, um, uh, like all people. And so maybe there were some comps that helped justify the price that the appraiser didn't know about. You know, a lot of times they might have they might have missed something. And so you first have to look at that appraisal and determine, okay, is there anything that they missed, right? If there isn't anything that was missed, that's kind of when you go to the A, B, and C, right? A, the buyer has the ability to to, to walk away, and you need to know that as the seller, uh, but more than likely, they're gonna reduce the price to that appraised price, and then you're going to come back to them and, and maybe try to negotiate something um, that, that is a win-win for both parties, but keep in mind that the buyer, whatever, if you guys agree to a higher number, that buyer has got to come out of pocket with those additional funds because the lender will only uh, lend the money up to that appraised price, right? Also, by the way, um, my experience has been it's always hard to fight an appraisal. I mean, it's very hard to fight an appraisal. Once that thing's logged in, you know, the banks are, are going to be conservative and they're going to they're gonna say, well, you know, we're going to take the lower of the two appraisals that we have anyways. So um, anyhow, just know it puts the buyer in a position of leverage and you have to tread carefully when you are the, uh, the seller of that property. Hope that helps, man. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please ask Kaza.com. I appreciate your questions. I know these are questions that other people have as well. And uh, talk to you soon, man. Bye-bye.